Nursing process. Question 1. Once a nurse assesses a client's condition and identifies appropriate nursing diagnoses, A. A. Plan is developed for nursing care. B. Physical assessment begins. C. List of priorities is determined. D. Review of the assessment is conducted with other team members. Answer A. Question 2. Planning is a category of nursing behaviours in which A. The nurse determines the health care needed for the client. B. The physician determines the plan of care for the client. C. Client-centred goals and expected outcomes are established. D. The client determines the care needed. Nursing process. Question 1. Once a nurse assesses a client. Question 3. Priorities are established to help the nurse anticipate and sequence nursing interventions when a client has multiple problems or alterations. Priorities are determined by the clients. A. Physician. B. Non-emergent, non-life-threatening needs. C. Future well-being. D. Urgency of problems. Question 2. Planning is a category of... Question 4. A client-centered goal is the specific and measurable behavior or response that reflects a client's A. Desire for specific health care interventions B. Highest possible level of wellness and independence in function C. Physician's goal for the specific client D. Response when compared to another client with a like problem Question 3. Priorities are established. Question 2. Planning is a category of nursing behaviours in which A. Answer A. Question 6. The nurse writes an expected outcome statement in measurable terms. An example is A. Client will have less pain. B. Client will be pain free. C. Client will report pain acuity less than 4 on a scale of 0 10. D. Client will take pain medication every 4 hours around the clock. Question 3. Priorities are established to help the nurse anticipate and sequence nursing intervention. Answer. C. Question 4. A client-centered goal is the specific and measurable behavior or response that ref... Question 6. The nurse writes an expect... Question 3. Priorities are established to help the nurse anticipate and sequence nursing interventions when a client has multiple problems or alterations. Priorities are determined by the clients. A. Physician. B. 
non-emergent, non-life-threatening needs. C. Future well-being. D. Urgency. Answer. C. Question 4. A client-centered goal is the specific and measurable behavior or response that reflects a client's a. Desire for specific health care interventions. B. Highest possible level of wellness and independence in function. C. Physician's goal for the specific client. D. Response when compared to another client with a like. Question 6. The nurse writes unexpected outcome statement in measurable terms. And Question 1. Once a nurse assesses a Question 10. Collaborative interventions are therapies that require a. Physician and nurse interventions b. Nurse and client interventions c. Client and physician intervention d. Multiple health care professionals Question 4. A client-centered goal. Question 11. Well-formulated, client-centered goals should A. Meet immediate client needs. B. Include preventative health care. C. Include rehabilitation needs. D. All of the above. Answer D. Question 12. The following statement appears on the nursing care plan for an immunosuppressed client. The client will remain free from infection throughout hospitalization. This statement is an example of an A. Nursing diagnosis. B. Short term goal. C. Long term goal. D. Expected outcome. Answer D. Question 13. The following statements appear on a nursing care plan for a client after a mastectomy, incision site approximated, absence of drainage or prolonged erythema at incision site and client remains a febrile. These statements are examples of A. Nursing interventions B. Short-term goals C. Long-term goals D. Expected outcomes Question 12 the following statement a Question 14. The planning step of the nursing process includes which of the following activities? A. Assessing and diagnosing. B. Evaluating goal achievement. C. Performing nursing actions and documenting them. D. Setting goals and selecting interventions. Question 13. The following statements. Question 15. The nursing care plan is A. A written guideline for implementation and evaluation. B. A documentation of the client care. C. A projection of potential alterations in client behaviors. D. A tool to set goals and project outcomes. Answer A. Question 16. After determining a nursing diagnosis of acute pain, the nurse develops the following appropriate client-centered goal. A. 
encourage client to implement guided imagery when pain begins. B. Determine effect of pain intensity on client function. C. Administer analgesic 30 minutes before physical therapy treatment. D. Pain intensity reported as a 3 or less during hospital stay. Question 13. The following statements appear on a nursing care plan for a client after a mistake. Answer. D. This is measurable and objective. Question 15. The nursing care plan is A. A written guideline for Answer B. This does not require a physician's order. A and D require an order. C is not appropriate for a fractured tibia. Question 13. The following statements appear on a nursing care plan for a client after a mastectomy. Incision site approximated absence of drainage or prolonged erythema at incision site, and client remains a febrile. These statements are examples of a. Nursing interventions b. Short-term goals c. Question 16. After determining a nursing diagnosis of acute pain, the nurse develops Question 15. The nursing care plan is A. A written guideline for implementation and evaluation. B. A documentation of the client care. C. A projection of potential alterations in client behaviours. D. A tool to set goals and project outcomes. Answer. B. This does not require a physician's order. A and D require an order. Question 20. When calling the nurse consultant about a difficult client-centered problem, the primary nurse is sure to report the following. A. Length of time the current treatment has been in place. B. The spouse's reaction to the client's dressing change. C. Client's concern about the current treatment. D. Physician's reluctance to change the current treatment plan. Answer A. This gives the consulting nurse facts that will influence a new plan. B, C, and D. These are all subjective and emotional issues, conclusions about the current treatment plan and may cause a bias in the decision of a new treatment plan by the nurse consultant. Question 21. The primary nurse asked a clinical nurse specialist CNS to consult on a difficult nursing problem. The primary nurse is obligated to a. Implement the specialist's recommendations. b. Report the recommendations to the primary physician. c. 
Clarify the suggestions with the client and family members. D. Discuss and review advised strategies with CNS. Answer B. This does not require a physician's order. A and D require an order. C is not appropriate for a fractured tibia. Question 21. The primary nurse asked a clinical nurse. Sp Answer A. This gives the consulting nurse facts that will influence a new plan. B, C and D. These are all subjective and emotional issues, conclusions about the current treatment plan and may cause a bias in the decision of a new treatment plan by the nurse consultant. Question 15. The nursing care plan is A. A written guideline for Answer A. This gives the consulting nurse facts that will influence a new plan. Question 15. The nursing care plan is A. A written guideline for implementation and evaluation. B. A documentation of the client care. C. A projection of potential alterations in client behaviours. D. A tool to set goals and project outcomes. Answer D. This is measurable and objective. Answer D.